Hey everybody, it's John Rock Reptiles. Um, we got another clutch here about to pull. This is the albino high white cow king. Um, let's open it up and see what we got. So, looks like she laid a pretty good pile of eggs. They all look good from what I can see. Look like there might be one underneath there. Um, it's got a thin end. Um, I won't really know until I get those apart. Um, but it looked like she laid a pretty good sized clutch. She's a beautiful high white, basically patternless. Something we've been known for for quite a few years now is producing these nice higher white um, patternless animals. Uh, we have some more of these coming up soon. And. Looks like she did a pretty good job. This girl's probably about five, six years old. Um, eggs look really good. Like I said, there looks like one right there. Might have a thin end on it. Might be nothing. I won't really know until I get them all separated. Like I said before, I usually separate the eggs, um, set them out individually. It's always worked better for me. In case, of course, there's any heat spike or anything, anything in the center it seems to get a little warmer um, as, the, as the Ambrose begin to develop. Always want to make sure that uh, nothing in the center is getting too hot. Um, that way we don't have nothing dead in the egg. But these look pretty good. Um, always love the albino high whites, I mean, probably hold quite a few back females out of this clutch. But everything is working out pretty good. Uh, seems like we're getting clutches daily here. And still got quite a few more to go. Um, something new for us, I don't normally post, you know, clutches as they, ha as they are laid, actually. Um, I usually post pictures or whatever, but since we're trying to get this YouTube thing going, I um, thought it'd be pretty, you know, interesting for everybody to see, especially people who don't do this themselves. Um, you know, it's always a cool sight. I enjoy it a lot. This is the you know best time of the year is when we get production and get all these set up, um, incubate them. And then when the babies come out, it's, you know, there's nothing else like it for me. And she's a, still got pretty good weight on her. Um, probably won't double clutch her. Like I said, I, you know, we produce enough to where I don't have to double clutch too much. I don't really like to overkill it and end up with a lot of babies on deck, which we never really have a problem moving them. Um, we usually find pretty good homes for them. These, um, sometimes we'll get people who will want to purchase the entire clutch from us, which is good. Um, this year we might not go that route, but, you know, it's always something that we consider depending on uh, what our egg volume and babies are. And if we have quite a bit, you know, sometimes it's, it's in our best interest to move um, clutches at a time. But we'll probably just uh, sell these individually or as in pairs or trios or whatever anybody wants. Like I said, I'll probably end up holding quite a few back out of these. Um, always an animal, one of my favorite to work with. I mean, that white is just intense. Really, really pretty king snakes. I love them. But we'll get them set up and... Uh, go through the process and then once they start pipping I'll put up videos and then you know how I cut the eggs um, I found it saves a lot of babies keeps them from, from drowning even though they pip on their own um, sometimes they may be too weak or just might not find their way back out and I've had that happen before where they've went in and drowned pretty disappointing so ever at that point ever since then I just started cutting the tops off 
um, kind of common that things I would do with Python eggs. Not really normal for me to do with uh, Colubrid, but since I started noticing a little bit of that happening, you know, every now and then, I always decided just to go ahead and cut the tops off and make sure everybody gets out um, and has a, has a fighting chance. But like I said, this looks like a pretty good clutch. I'm going to get her off the eggs here, get these set up, and then um, more than likely we might have another video by tomorrow. Seems like we're getting clutches, you know, they're dropping them daily here, which is a good thing. Um, never have no complaints about that. So anything you guys see that we're producing um, that you might want, you know, here in the future we'll have them available um, I'll put up videos of the babies um, how we set them up discuss a little bit more about them but hope everybody's having a good Father's Day um, this is kind of good for me so I'll thank everybody for watching and we'll get some more videos up soon and we'll talk to you later